What's going on guys? It is currently Thursday the 11th of February. I know I haven't been filming much, but it's currently leg day. We're gonna go smash a good leg session. I'm gonna put the full session in there for you as well. Possibly cook a meal later on and show you what's going on. Uh, a few little changes to the diet now as well. In preparation for the competition in April. It's eight weeks away, so we're not far away now, but we're gonna go hit a leg workout. We've had a good pre-workout feed, feeling good. So we'll see what we can do. So guys, it's leg day and we hit a really, really intense volume leg day today. We are well underway into the cut now. So, but I'm feeling good to be honest. I've not lost any strength whatsoever yet. Um, as you'll see here, we started on the squats, but we did go up to 130 kilo, um, which was good. I've just been messing around with the camera angles a little bit more recently, so trying some different angles so you can see the different range of movement. But as you can see here, I am going down to that 90 degrees. You can go sub 90 degrees, uh, it all depends on your range of movement and one of my knees is still not the best. So I'm trying to just obviously go to where I need to go, I feel it, I'm getting doms so I know I'm working and the range of movement's good so uh, that's all that matters. So we did 6 working sets of squats going from obviously 2 warm sets of 6 to 8 followed by 6 full working sets. So we went from 100 to 110. 220 to 130 and back down to 100 for the last set to get 12 reps. Um, really, really trying to squeeze, trying to go all the way to the top so we are going up but we're not locking the knees, we're keeping a slight bend, uh, soft knee as you should. Engaging the core, you can see when I go down, you can see my core tightening up a little bit um, and I am start, starting to notice my abs a little bit more now, we've been dieting for two weeks. I was a bit of a fat lad <laughs> but it is what's obviously needed to put the size on. Um, so, like I said, you'll see a few working sets of squats here. There's one more working set after this one for you to see, which is on my max, which was the 130. Still feeling strong. Um, whilst this clip's running, guys, just a quick update. The clothing is coming, the samples. Um, so I'm going to show you the samples as soon as they arrive. Um, it's a really, really high quality um, clothing. So I made sure I put a lot of effort in um, and made sure that the quality is right because I want to show you guys. Uh, and obviously, we want it to be right. So, as you can see, I was struggling with the last couple of reps. Um, I really just dug in and got it done. Uh, and this was the 130, 130 set. Um, I got one of my friends to film it for me whilst I was in the gym. Uh, and you can see, obviously, how deep I'm going on these reps now. Um, there you go, down to 90 degrees. Trying to keep my back as straight as possible. The weight must feel quite heavy. I'm pointing my toes outwards, um, obviously, to make sure the knees don't come in, to make sure the knees stay out, which is obviously part of the form and part of trying to keep my knee as good as possible during this cut. I don't want to have any problems. I want to be able to squat. So after the squats guys, we moved on to a leg press volume. So we were aiming for hypertrophy still, eight to 12, but really slow and controlled, time under tension. And we did one warm set here, which was just nice and strong, but the, as you can see, the eccentric movement is quite slow compared to the concentric. So the concentric is the upward space and that's powerful and the eccentric is the downwards and we're trying to obviously have time and retention there and keep it slow and controlled. We did four or five sets of the leg press um, which really burns after doing squats. It's a really good exercise to do. Some people don't like it but as, as long as you get the form right and you can see that angle here is a good angle. As long as you've got the form right um, you'll be fine. I feel it for my knees sometimes but if you press with your heels Instead of the balls of your foot, if you press through your heel, you feel a lot better um, and you feel a better contraction on the quad as well. After the leg press guys, we moved on to walking lunges. The track at my gym is really good, so I do walking lunges on the track and it feels really good. You can see the pain in my face then after doing that set. Um, as you can see here, yeah, going down to the 90 degrees as well, the right angle, making sure your toes are in front of your knee, make sure your knee doesn't go over your toes on your front leading foot, otherwise you've not stretched far enough. Uh, you want to keep your shins straight as well if you can. Make sure it's not obviously going over your toes. So we did four sets of the, the walking lunges. I really like this exercise, guys. Like I said, I do feel it from my knee a little bit, but the exercise is a really good exercise. Um, really focusing on them quads and the glutes. And you can really feel it. Um, slow and controlled. By this time, my balance starts to go. As you can see, I'm a bit all over the place. Uh, so I step out a little bit just to stabilize myself. And you can see coming back. Uh, trying to keep it, there you go, failed a little bit on that rep, uh, that's what it's all part of. After this, we've pretty much exhausted the quads here, so we moved on to hamstrings. Started off with some leg curls, as you'll see here. So we're really explosive down with a squeeze, 
and slow and controlled up. So the concentric phase is nice and powerful and the eccentric phase again is slow and controlled to keep that muscle under tension. And that's how we get the muscles to grow guys, it's time under tension. I can't emphasize it enough that hypertrophy works best. Time under tension and that's how it is. So like I said for this cut, I'm gonna keep time under tension just because it works for me. And I'm gonna keep hypertrophy because I wanna maintain as much lean muscle as I can. Um, through this cut, obviously it's a big competition coming up. So we want to be looking as full as possible and keep as much of the gains that we made in the short period of time. So guys, what's left to come now is some more leg curls and then I've got some calves. With the calves guys, I'll just explain it quickly. So I do one set with my feet pointing up, one set with my feet pointing outwards and one set with my feet pointing inwards. Uh, the reason we do this is to hit every part of the calf um, it's just, I feel like we get a better squeeze if we hit every part of the calf by doing one set of each to get a good contraction on every every part of it. So, I'm going to leave the footage with you now guys, there's only a little bit left to watch, about a minute or so, and then I'm going to catch up with you after, um, I'll be going through a meal with you, so there'll be a haddock meal, I'm loving the haddock again, loving the fish, but I'll catch up with you after the workout guys, and I'll go through everything there. Leg session done. What's up guys, so we've just got back from the gym now. Um, it's time for our post-workout feed. Now, before I get home, obviously we've hit a big leg session. What I usually have to see me through until I get home to have some food is one of these bodybuilding warehouse protein flapjacks. Now, the reason I have that is because it's low in sugar. Um, it's got the carbs and the protein in to hit that anabolic window, because sometimes I don't get home for like half an hour after training. So I just get that in there, you know, just to see me through to my meal. So what we're having today is we're gonna have some mixed veg. Um, I've got some mixed veg. I get it from Aldi. Um, it's 99p for a pack of mixed veg that weighs, weighs I mean, it's 500 grams, it's a 500 gram bag. So that will do me two meals because I'm having quite a lot of veg at the minute. Um, my calories are quite high. I'm not, I'm not doing any cardio yet. I'm starting my cardio next week. Um, so that I'll be fasted and after training, so post-workout cardio. Um, that leg has absolutely killed me off today. My legs are shaking and I've already got lactic acid build up, so they're hurting. Uh, so I need to make sure I get this food in, so I'm going to eat this. Um, I am doing some online coaching this afternoon guys, so if you haven't already seen the website, go check that out. I've got some places available on there. And I've also got some samples of clothing coming to me uh, in the next week or so, so I'm excited to show you that. Because there's some t-shirts, some stringer vests and some joggers, the micro fitness ones. So, it's exciting business, it's all coming up. Um, but I'm going to crack on and get this food made now because I'm so hungry and I need to eat. Everyone loves this noise. So we've got it guys, we've got the haddock, we've got the mixed veg and the rice. And obviously the green tea as well, can't miss that out. Um, now for me guys, when dieting, keeping the flavour in the food is really important. For me, lemon juice is one of the best things that I use on fish, especially the chicken as well. Um, and it soaks into the spinach. When I cook it with the spinach as well, it just soaks in and gives it so much flavor. That's where a lot of people go wrong with dieting is the fact that they make the food boring. 
um, and that's what obviously demotivates you sometimes is the, the lack of flavour in the food. So little tricks like lemon juice, zero calorie sauces, not as much zero calorie sauces because of obviously how they're made but um, organic things like lemon juice, lime juice, anything organic that you can use for flavour, try it out and put it on your food because if you do and you get it right, that'll help you stay on track to diet. So I'm going to eat this now guys, like I said, I'm absolutely starving. And then I'm going to crack on with some online coaching. Um, so I will catch up with you all later on.